You should read a book. You have to buy a program. You need to visit school. You can do it. That's true, but not how they think it is. Здравствуйте! My name is Alexander Richter and welcome to TD Monday. Every Monday we discuss topics about VFX, animation and games. So today's topic is how to learn scripting and programming. Let's play the intro. So when it comes to learning a new skill, I ask myself one simple question and that is why? Why do I want to learn this skill? And I think there are two reasons for that. Reason number one, you want to step up your status, have a better job position, have more money, have a better social integration. Reason number two, you want to have an easier life. You want to create an app or a software to make it easier for you to be creative, to be productive, to have a one button solution, which is a great thing, I think. So they're both right. The why is also important because it defines the how. The biggest mistake I personally made when I started learning scripting is I started somewhere and I ended up somewhere. So I tried to start at the beginning, try to learn all the basics before I even done anything. Story time. When I wanted to apply to media computer science, I was thinking, I like media. I don't like informatics. The reasonable way I did it, I went to the library, took a book, opened it up and started to read. After like 10 or 20 pages, I was thinking, I get the basic concept, but I don't get why I need to learn this. So I took another book and another book and another book. And after like two months and dozens of books, I was like, okay, now I get it a little bit. And now I know why it's fun. But it was very devastating because I started at the beginning and the beginning is always this kind of introduction, the very basic concept of hexadecimal, bits and bytes, and it's very tedious and very boring. And you don't have this practical uh, achievement where you start something and you instantly, oh, this is cool, this is fun, this, this makes me like like this makes me motivated to do another page. It took me about two months until I could say, I did get the basic concept now and also like the feeling of achievement. Why did it take so long to learn the basics of programming for me? That's because I didn't define my why and I don't learn to achieve my goals. And I just were learning because you have to learn the basics to do that. Don't do that. Especially in the beginning, it's very important to define goals for yourself because you don't need scripting at the moment. You already are working, you're already living and you already are productive in your daily life. That's why you need to find a way to integrate it and to understand why it would be beneficial for you and your work to have it as part of your life. So take something out of your daily life, out of your daily work, try to make something you can achieve in a day or two and then starting to look up for that. So you, you say something, okay, I want to create this nuke node. I want to create this small safe script. And now you open up Google, you open up books and then search for the specific topics you want or you need to achieve this small app, this small script. And by this way, you will, after some days, you will have something. You will have something that it really helps you in your daily life and it makes like, wow, it's like, I made this. And this way, there's like a natural way of, of evolving, a natural way of learning scripting, a natural way of learning programming. And of course, you won't be the pro Python scriptor or scriptor or programmer at all after this small project. They, because you will miss some basics probably. But in the end, you will achieve your goals and it will be much better and much more enhancing for you compared to anyone who says, do it the right way. And then they start at the basics and after, after some weeks, they still do uh, know something about hexadecimal and classes, but they didn't really make something or at least they didn't made it for themselves. They just made some examples and it, they don't feel like the fun and the enjoyment of creating something with scripting, with programming. And I think the right way is not always always the best way. So try to find the best way for you. In resume, pick a small project from your daily life. Ask yourself, why do you want to do that? 
And then figure out the how by asking yourself, what would I need to achieve this app, software, script, whatever you, you want to do. And then just do it. Let me know in the comments below what your first scripting project was. And tune in every Thursday for Scripting for Artists where I show you how to script in languages like Python, like JavaScript, in software packages like Maya, Nuke and so on. Like and subscribe if you like to subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.